So now our, we have, we've discovered how to start this restaurant activity that we created, but it's blank. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is layout again. Um, and we're gonna start designing our own layout for this particular activity. And we'll talk about how to have that activity use the layout. And then we'll talk a little bit about sort of dynamic layout in the sense of how do we change the content of the layout uh, in the onCreate method, which we will eventually need to do to finish this, this portion of the MP. All right, so um, if you remember the layout for, maybe you don't, I mean, I forget stuff, right? Uh, the layout for our main activity is over here. It's an activity underscore main. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of that file and I'm gonna call it activity underscore restaurant. And it's useful to have you know, a consistent naming convention when you work in any software project. So in this case, the naming convention for these layouts is activity underscore, you know, uh, the kind of the first part of the activity name, like main activity, restaurant activity. Hopefully that makes sense. Item underscore restaurant, if you remember, is something we edited before. That uh, indicates how an item is laid out in that restaurant list that we've worked with previously. I do want to add this file. Uh, I need to check this in so that I can get, um, you know, get points when the auto remote auto grader runs. And now I'm looking at this design view. I don't really like the design view, so let's go back to the code view here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm using activity main as a starting point, but I really don't want most of this stuff. Uh, this is really appropriate to the main activity. I don't need a search bar and I don't have a list that I'm gonna display. Um, instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a text view in here uh, and I'm gonna have the width match, content, match parent, I'm gonna have the height wrap content. And then to start with, I'm gonna put some text in here and I'll just put hello world. I'm gonna close that. Now, if I go over here to back to the design view, you can see that at the very top there, I see hello world. And we're not gonna work on making this pretty. There is like so much value in having a good, well-designed, attractive, intuitive, beautiful app. And there's so much work that you can do in this space in terms of font sizes and font choices and margins and spacing. And like, you know it when you see it. Like when you go to a really well-designed website, you use a really beautiful app, you're like, wow, I'm kind of blown away. It like all fits together and it's just like a work of art. Um, I'm not that good at that. There are people who are. Some of you will go on to be those people, which is awesome. If you start getting into this stuff right now, it's a great entry point, right? Um, and it's there's this beautiful place to mix sort of the creation of code with the creation of content and, and layout and design, and it's just a really neat space, right? Um, I wish I had more time to do that kind of thing, you know, it's because it's a lot of fun, but um, but we're not gonna uh, spend too much time on it now, right? We're just gonna focus on getting the content that the user needs on the screen. But of course, if you were a user of this app, you would find this screen to be incredibly annoying. It's like, I don't wanna see a tiny little name of the restaurant, you know, buried up at the top left, like please display it so that I can read it. People probably wouldn't use this app for that reason. All right, so I've got this layout. Now the question is, how do I use the layout in my uh, in my restaurant activity file? And now you know what we can do is we can actually go over here and we can um, we can uh, borrow some code from our main activity. So I'm going to cut and paste this uh, this instance variable, and instead of activity main binding, this is going to be activity restaurant. Uh, binding uh, because I'm using a different layout file. So I want to remove that import and I'm going to uh, initialize it in the same way that I did over here in my in my main activity. Now there's some cut and paste errors that you can make here so be careful. I don't want to do r.layout.activity main I want to do layout.activity restaurant because I'm using that different layout file uh, so I need to change that. Okay at this point I should be uh, I'm, what I'm doing, what I just did in restaurant activity is I told it, use the layout from activity underscore restaurant.xml. So when I rerun this and I click on the restaurant, what should happen is I should see the layout that I just created with that hello world text at the top. So that's what I'm expecting to happen. So let's see if, I, if, if that actually works. Um, it's going to take a minute, more than a minute. I never know why sometimes it takes longer than I just to build the stuff, but here we go. Okay, cool. And I'm waiting for the list to be shown, and there it is. And now I'm going to click on Alexander's Steakhouse, and there's Hello World. Okay, awesome. Now, let me take this a step further, because eventually what you're going to need to do to finish this portion of the MP is you're going to need to populate the layout with the name of the restaurant and the name of the cuisine. So you're going to have dynamic information 
about the layout that you need to insert. It's not going to be enough to have Hello World. You're actually going to have a specific restaurant based on how the restaurant activity was started. We'll talk a little bit more about that in, in, in the next section. Um, but if I go back to this uh, layout, I open up the code view. So there's two things I'm going to do. First, I'm going to remove the hard-coded text because that's not very useful unless you're, like, when you're doing like layout and you want to see how things look on the screen, that can be useful. But uh, normally we have data that we want to put into this. Now, here's the problem though. If you look at this layout, there's no way to identify this text view. And if you look at some of the stuff that we did in uh, main underscore activity uh, dot XML or activity underscore main, there's this notion of what's called an Android ID. And this allows me, if I add this to my text view, what you're going to see if I go back to my restaurant activity is now I can do binding dot name because I just added that with the ID name dot text. And then I can set that equal to hello world. Now, when I run this and maybe I'll set, maybe I'll uh, change this so I can tell the difference, right? Now, when I run this, what you're gonna see is that, okay, well now I just have a different piece of, of hard coded text, right? So if I run this again, uh, when I click on things, I should see hello CS124. But what you've noticed, what hopefully you notice here is this is programmatic. So if I had access to, for example, an instance of a restaurant here, which is what I'm gonna to have to have at some point for this to work fully and to pass the test case, I could use restaurant.name and that would insert the name of the restaurant into the appropriate spot in my, in my text, in, into that text view. Um, so I've got the right pieces of the puzzle in here. I just need to sort of uh, finish the job and that's what we'll talk about next. So, so in this video, we talked about kind of how to set up a layout, how to uh, associate it with, with the activity. And what we'll do next is talk about some of the odds and ends that you're going to need to, uh, to complete in order to, I shouldn't say odds and ends. It's like kind of like the whole thing, right? We, we've set the scene here. And now we'll talk about kind of what you need to do to wrap up and, and pass the test case.